are live! Coming to you again from a, somewhere crazy. Dimension C-137 at Defender Stadium to pick up Week 5 TFO action here on Totten TFO Tuesday. Again, outer space, other dimensions, it doesn't matter. You got the Killer Cactus, Frank Baylog, and the Bits Creek. Dave Bits are setting up the Killer Blitz Creek Studios anywhere, Dave. We got a great game here for you today with a lot of history attached to it. So I've been hearing. We've got Shawless Fighters, my team, owned by me, Frank Baylog, against the Dimension Defenders, owned by Chris McLeese. And if anyone is familiar with how TFO Blitz went down, you know there's some bad blood here between these two owners. The story is, can McLeese find a way to finally break the Baylog curse? No, no. Dave, no, Dave doesn't think so. <laughs> this, uh, I, there was something I didn't even realize was a thing until my brother mentioned it during the Blitz Bowl, and the curse was certainly in full effect uh, for the TFO Blitz final there. And I think we should take a little trip back in time here to kind of see how the Baylog curse of Chris McLeese came to be. What do you think? So there you have it. You can see that was hard to watch. <laughs> the Baylog curse is tough to deal with. Some crazy finishes to those games. But here this year in 2018 in the TFO, I think it might be a bit different. I'm going to give McLeese the benefit of the doubt here. I think his team is better than mine. I haven't looked at the records because I spoiled myself in week two and I'm pissed about that. But anyway, we'll see if... I think he's got a better team. Maybe I'm 0-4 and he's 4-0 and and we'll see some Tecmo dust. Which I don't is, know. Which is exactly why it's going to happen. <laughs> so here we go. Is the <laughs> Does Chris McLeese finally pull out on top here? Or does the Baylog curse of McLeese continue yet again here in 2018? Shawless Fighters against the Dimension Defenders. Week 5 of the TFO. Let's get you down to the field. Helmets there. I, again, shout out to the Raj on these helmets. He did a really good job on this issue. Even better than the typical guys. Fighters has the heads. Morty? No, I don't know what Smith. Who's, I don't know what Smith this is. You watch Rick and Morty? I don't watch Rick and Morty. I've watched like two episodes. Uh, and... Princess Marla back from injury. But I don't, we didn't get the injury animation comeback. Bullshit! Oh wait, that's because this is oh, week yeah. five and not week two. <laughs> ah, we're a little Time ahead of travel. You. Sorry, guys. 
Magus hands it off to Ken Masters, breaks a tackle, but goes nowhere against this stout McLee defense. McLee's defense. Second down, Masters again up top. Got some room this time, and Masters the is in the open. Oh, cross midfield, a diving miss. Oh, the guy off! The Ken! The 10 5 <laughs> touchdown! Ken Masters out of nowhere to start this game. I saw it. Dave saw it. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> this is my team, and I have no idea what to expect out of these guys right now. But I know the Heckrin is going to boot. Oh, oh the block! That's your point. The Heckrin can't get it through. You know, I spent a bunch of money on the Heckrin, but I think this uh, this season we're just going to see a lot of blocked extra points. How it is, his butthole takes it from the five. He's wrapped up at the 18. Good kick coverage for my team. Better than I've come to expect to see so far here. We're going to hand it off to another, I don't know what Rick Smith. Sanchez. Oh. Rick Sanchez to some Smith. There's like 58 Smiths on your team, McLeese. We need to do something about this. Holy shit. There's the blitz. Oh! oh. All hail Dalton with the sack. Chris doesn't like Dalton, that Dalton's one of the best players on my team, but how can you not love Dalton? It's a great Chrono Trigger. Bro, oh, he's got Morty. There's Morty over the middle. He's got the first down, and Moore is one of the only fast guys on my defense. Catches up to him to take him down at the 50. The first and 10 here. Another blitz! Ooh. Meeseeks can't get out of the backfield there, so we'll go second and 15. Charles Fires seem to have his number on play ball. So far, we'll see. Oh, almost oh! the sack! Sanchez avoids it! And he's got Morty, but I uh, just wanted to keep that crossing route going. Threw it away. Third and 15 here. Can, the, can Charles Fighters hold him? We got a guy just standing there. And he gets it off to Morty again. First down and more. Here comes a new... Alright, the new catches up to Morty and takes him down with the 14. Good job by the new there to get off his line block at the line of scrimmage and catch Morty, but tough to stop this defense here. No one's Oh the new is through, but it gets it off! And it's overthrown, overthrown again. Where have I seen that before? Right. <laughs> the new got in there and disrupted him. But Sanchez has a couple wide oh. open receivers. Going to Morty again! Again Jeez. overthrown! The pressure from Shaw's fighters getting to Rick Sanchez here. It's third down. We're gonna go with Meeseeks. They're not enough. Meeseeks has some room! Oh, he's got the first! He makes a move and gets the first down. Clutch run there by Meeseeks on third and ten. Had everybody fooled. Thought they are gonna throw and they're gonna try and run up the middle here with Meeseeks. And no it's a there. touchdown. Rick and Morty strike first with Mr. Meeseeks to take a 6-6 six, six, six lead. I'm sorry, don't strike first. Ken Masters already struck. It was so fast I already forgot about it. And block extra point. And I'm oh, nope. not so lucky. Uh. So it's, <laughs> gonna be 7 6 here, the defenders with a one point lead. 124 left in the first. It's all just setting up the screwdriver. Let's see what Marla can do here from a yard, yard deep in her own end zone. Looks pretty quick. Whoa! Oh, those, who yeah, the those, hell was that? Those defenders are fast. They eat their defender O's. And they got to Marla there to stop her short. We're gonna go to Ken Masters. Top, pitch at the top. Pushing, pushing. Respectable eight yards. Yeah, seven yard gain, second and three. Looks like it's another give to Masters up the middle. And it is. Right to the first. Close to the first down. Yes. Masters has a first down on the shitty play. You can always count on the shitty play to get you two or three yards. For sure. We're going to throw it here. Magus. Back to pass. He's got Masters over the middle. He's going to go to him. Nice 15 yard gain there. First down. Same play that was raining the screw job there, if you happen to notice that, Dave. <laughs> I did, but they were a little bit more on target. Little and Masters! Cool. Masters again! Oh! One game, take nine. I, I don't think, think he shot short. it this time. Yeah, that one's just short. So we're going to have second down and one here. But again, nine-yard game by Masters. That's good. I'll take nine yards against this defense. Like it's another run to Masters. The pitch up. Defenders are there, but Masters is going to have the first down. So nine seconds left here in the first quarter. Shawless Fighters driving. And a blitz! Oh, big blitz! Oh, gets Magus gets off. it away. Dive... Um, Looks like uh, Ayla tried to dive and make the catch there, but just couldn't get her hands around it. Because it's not coded. Prehensile tail got in the way. I don't care. I don't care it's coded. <laughs> Masters on the oh, pitch makes a moves. All right, third and four here. Can the fighters convert on this third down? They're gonna throw for it. Oh, they could have checked oh. down. But instead, they try and force it to Ayla in the double coverage, incomplete. They're gonna bring out the Hecarin here for the field goal. 
55 yarder. I don't think. Yeah, wide yeah, right. Wide right. No good. Right. This way. Right. There we go. Left. Okay. Done. Down. Defenders take over on downs after the, the new is through. But Sanchez gets it off just in time to avoid the sack there from the from the new. Now, I'm happy to see my guys at least break through the. There we go. A new with the sack. So I've finally seen one of my defenders break through the line. Thankfully, I was hoping. It, I thought it would never happen this whole season. My brother had me convinced I was never gonna see it. Sanchez is going to pick all that right back up with a quarterback sneak, and he's off to the races. My defense himself. is so slow. 15, 10, 5, <laughs> touchdown. Rick Sanchez just dusts my entire defense on a QB draw. And the defenders are up 7 here, pending an extra point. Oh, wow, the oh. new is through. <laughs> and it still gets it through. It doesn't matter. tackling the holder, and it doesn't matter. 14 to 6 lead here for McLeese in the defension defense. Defension defenders. The dimension defenders. defenders. There you go. Here is Marla's gonna take another kickoff. Makes a move. She's got the corner. Ooh. All right, good return there from Princess Marla. I'll take that. First down and ten here. Let's see what Magus can do. Drops back. Got Marla open over the middle. Oh, they're gonna try and go to Frog. Oh, jumping oh, ten. By Frog himself. Oh, no! oh! Towards the receiver. 15, 10, 5. They and catch. The four. They catch Frog. He was. He almost had it in there. Oh, Whoa, what a play. At the, what a play by Glenn. The frog. Magus drops back. Marla's wide open over the middle, but we're going to check it down to Gato for no reason. And he loses four. <laughs> so it's second and seven here. Let's see, we drop back to pass again. This time Marla's covered, so we'll probably throw it to her. Oh, no. He's going to overthrow Ayla instead. Alright, third down and seven. Can we force it in? Looks like this is Ken Masters. Up the middle, but the defenders are all over it. So we can't punch it in from three yards out, and the fighters are going to have to settle for a field goal here. Ooh. The whole team was in there! <laughs> Literally the whole line was through, but they couldn't block that field goal, and the Hecker attacks on three to make this a 14-9 game here. 2-10. Left in the left in the first half. Remember the, the, the defenders get the ball after halftime here, so the fighters really need to hold them here if they want to stay in this game. Could get nasty quickly. Let's see what Sanchez can do. They're gonna go to Mr. Meeseeks. Ooh, oh man, the fighters were all over it, but Meeseeks snuck out. They had like six guys in the backfield there. Meeseeks just snuck around the ball there and got a first down. Go back to throw here. Into coverage, incomplete. A lot of guys on coverage there. That was an ill-advised pass from crazy looking Rick Sanchez. The new is through. He's put Sanchez is pushing up. Oh, he threw it off. Wow, he went down. down. The super slash. I don't know where cleans it up for the sack. Wow, Sanchez would not be denied there. But he finally does he go down. down. Uh, oh, and a, a oh! Sir Cyrus. Bring, it was inspired by his Squire Frog's play on offense. Breaks through the line and gets a big sack as the fart. It looks like a good punt here. Gonna boot it away to Marla with just over a minute, just under a minute left here in the first half. She can get past this oh, what a, Wow. What a punt, but it's barely in the end zone. Man. Unbelievable. Almost a fantastic punt by the fart. Magus is gonna throw. Nowhere to go. Is that Ken Masters in the flat, though? Can he get it to him? Yes, he can! A juke from Masters! Down with 15 seconds. They're gonna call timeout here. 15 seconds to go and try for something big here at the end of the half. Magus drops back. Nowhere to go. Everything's covered up. Throws it away. Smart. Get another playoff here. Six seconds left in the half. They're gonna give it to Ma They're gonna try and give it to Masters. And trust oh, me, he's got, got the coin! Oh, oh, he's he's one one guy. One, but it's yeah. just enough to slow him down, and that is going to end the half. Can't get away from the half. So 14-9, respectable. I'm not. I thought I'd be down more, so I'm actually kind of happy with it's where things all are. It's setting it up for the screw job. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe the, the, does the Baylock curse rear its head here again in the second half? But the defenders get the ball, but the Hecron puts a charge into this one, right up his butt. Hole. Takes it from halfway deep in the end zone, but there's just nobody there to cover because my defense is so weak. So he gets all the way back out to the 20 anyway. 
Alright, so what can Rick and Morty do here? There's a blitz! Dumps Whoa. it off to Meeseeks! There's nobody there! <laughs> they were all in the backfield again. So Meeseeks at the first down on the blitz. Heads up play there by Rick Sanchez to get the ball out quickly. Definitely saw that blitz coming. Another that. blitz! Oh, wow. Not gonna get past this one. The Massa Moon! Takes him down. So Frog, Cyrus, and the Massa Moon. Getting it done here for Shaw's Fighters so far, but they're gonna need some help if they didn't catch back up. And, I don't know, some other random smith goes down, so it's 3rd and 18, this is a big play here, I think, for Shaw's Fighters. Play action. In his face. Got him in his face, looking for Bird Person who's wide, wide open! open. Oh, that's unfortunate. And my strong safety has no money, so it's gonna be a touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown defenders, the bird person wide open there, left alone. And Rick Sanchez is not gonna miss that wide open of a receiver. So 20 to 9 here, pending an extra point. And it's good. So a 12 point lead here for Rick and Morty in the defension. Defension? I can't say the defension. I cannot say the defension. Defenders. defenders. I can't do it. Here's Marla from a again a yard deep. Every kick it seems like it's been way deep in the end zone. Marla's had to take them all out from deep. Uh. We're going to see what Magus can get going here. Uh, again, Master's over the middle on the red gun slant. He's going to go to him. Oh, one, oh, one guy. Good. Man, he would have got some more yards. Yeah, good open field tackle there, but a first down from Charles Fighters. <clears throat> so first and ten here. Magus again back to throw. Master's in the flat. He dumps it off to him. And Juke. One out. Breaks one tackle, but again, first down. So moving the ball here, 252 left in the third. And we're gonna run Masters this time. A lot of room up at the top, one juke! And Masters in the, at the 20, the 15, down to the 12. Great run there by Ken Masters, so the fighters need to punch it in here. They've been down in the red zone a couple of times, haven't punched it in. Back to throw, Marla again, open over the middle. But we're gonna throw it to- Oh, oh! Masters doesn't care! He doesn't give a shit to those two guys. Ken Masters. He's not a Chrono Trigger character, but he's he he's a free agent. He's in from the Street Fighters. As I explained, Chrono was supposed to be the starter of this team. I know there's a big deal. No, Everyone loves Chrono, and he's a backup on my team, but he was dead when Shaw was trying to put this team together. We needed a running back, and she, he, she looked into this dimension, and who better to take and suck through time than Ken Masters to run the ball? As Butthole with a nice return there, out past the 30. So a five point game here, let's see if Shaw's Fighters defense can actually make something happen, and I highly doubt it. <laughs> Second down and eight. Oh, the new breaks through! Forces a quick dump off, so it's third down. Again, another big play here. Looks like a pass. No pressure this time. Oh, the oh, in! The new! The new comes the new out of nowhere! Comes, a random the, new gets through the line! With a delayed blitz. Sack Sanchez and forces the defenders to punt. The winds may be changing! Bart's gonna punt it off to Marla here. Looks like Marla's actually... But there's a whole slew of defenders chasing Marla down. Yeah, and even that... She's got a lot of speed, but she's not gonna get past that massive army of defenders. <laughs> So Magus hands it off to Masters with a well-timed blitz there to make it 2nd and 15. Shaw's Fighters really needs to get some first downs here. Ooh, get another run and the defenders are all over it. So 3rd and 11, big play, really need to get a first down, keep the pressure on the defenders and help run the clock out. Pass Marla open over the middle, but we're just not going to throw it to her, but Frog doesn't oh! care either! Another lead! I, frogs can jump pretty high! Sure! Right? I mean, he's a frog, he can jump. Maybe that's why Magus turned him into one, so he can jump higher and catch those passes. Oh, but a big play there on third down, and he just refused to throw it to the our superstar tight end over the middle, but I'll take it. It's time to force the tight end play, though. That's true. At end of the third quarter, five-point lead, but Shawless Fighter's driving. All right, again, Marla's open. She's the only one open. And we're still and not going to throw it to her, so... Uh, maybe this play just... I, I don't know. I've seen that play for other teams go to the tight end a lot, and we're just refusing. So incomplete pass, oh. Masters gets blitzed, and it's fourth down, and they're going for it here. On fourth and ten. This can turn the tide of the whole game, and look, Magus oh. is just gonna run into Darth Vader's ass. I don't think Darth Vader's even on this team, <laughs> but he reaches through the force 
<laughs> through the, the the dimensional gates with the force and tackles Megas for a sack as Rick Sanchez gets it off for a first down. And then that that could be maybe that's how the Baylog curse ends. Darth Vader reaches through dimensional gates. Uh, <laughs> it's a, wow, it's a sack. That's, that's a little open. <laughs> and Maury Smith with the touchdown there. Wow, what a turn of events. It, yeah. I, that, Darth Vader can do that. I mean, I, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know. He, he just imposes his will. Maybe he did the, you know, fucking, fucking Luke Skywalker shitty Last Jedi force projection garbage. <laughs> he force projected his ass into this <laughs> game and sacked Magus and just turned the tide of the game completely. But still a lot of time left, I guess. So 340 in this game is a lot of time for two scores. Marla gets away from one tackle, and she's got a little bit of room, so a good return out past the 40, but... Plenty of time left. Need a quick score here. I mean, I did, I did score twice in the blitz ball. I heard. A lot of open receivers. Magus has his pick going to Ken Masters. I can't blame him. And that's a first down into Defender's territory at the 45. First and 10, they're going to hand it to Masters, who looks like he has all day to run, but he goes down into a run to Defender's... <laughs> You know, in, in true Tecmo fashion, but he does get a first down, so... Hey, at least they got that going for him here. So first and ten with a new set of downs at the 34. Magus, under pressure, can't get it off, and Beth Smith. There's, more, there's even more Smiths on the defense. How many Smiths are there? It's at the whole phone book of Smiths. Come over the team. Magus, again, back, again just runs into DS Hemorrhage? For the sack, again, had, you know, all day, a bunch of open receivers, doesn't matter. We're gonna run into someone's ass. Third and 24, Magus back to throw, nobody open. Force it to Ayla, it's batted down. So again, we're gonna go for it here on fourth and 24. I can't blame them. They're gonna run the red gun slant. Master's not open this time, though. Ayla is, and she's just too slow to get a first down. <sighs> So they tried to get it in there, but no avail. Defenders take over on downs, so and they're going to need a miracle here now. They're really going to need the Baylock curse to kick in. We really haven't had any kind of you know, interception. Not, no strength. turnovers or anything. Yeah, yeah, so we're due for five in a row. Right, as we see Morty Smith with a first down there. Fighters call timeout to try and conserve this clock. The minute 43 left here. Looks like this is going to be a run to some other Smith, but there's a blitz. So no gain there. Last timeout called by the Street Fighters. It can, or the I'm sorry, Shala's Fighters can no longer stop the clock. Here on second down the left. Sanchez all day gets it off to Tammy. Down, gets the first down. Agent that, Tammy wow. jukes and jives, and I can't catch up to anybody in the secondary. Oh, well, actually, caught somebody. Hey. <laughs> it tackles her at the five. Under a minute to go. This could be the dagger in the heart here. As Rick Sanchez is just going to take it himself for the touchdown. Sneaks oh. it around the pylon. And the dimension dive into the crowd. Yeah, <laughs> runs out, out of this dimension, right into this, right somewhere else. He's gone. <laughs> He's not even in this game anymore. And some other random Smith tacks on the extra point. So 35-16 to 16 here. Dimension defenders look like they have this game on lockdown. Or do... Yeah, they I'm pretty do. sure they do yeah. here. And no curse of any kind. <laughs> He's going to bring this one back from the depths. Marla breaks two tackles, though. Can't, <laughs> can't break the third one. Let's see a bomb and an onside kick. What do you say? You, you need three. I know. Come on, Magus. <laughs> let's do it. Now right, we're going to just hand it off to Ken Masters. Take the whole time. Up there. Hey, first down. Woo! <laughs> All right, 28 seconds. Let's end the suffering. Here, maybe Marla will be open on this street. No, she's covered. Matt, double covered. And Masters is open. Popcorn's a guy. Get some fantasy points, Masters. Get you some fantasy points in garbage time for the touchdown. I love how the <laughs> entire team is right behind him. Right behind him. Well, Jesus, they're fast. Yeah, just saving a little bit of face here. Magus to Masters. And again, Masters, the whole offense here. They didn't get Marla involved. But Frog had a couple of good catches, I guess, down the field. But the story of this game is the defense just couldn't stop. Uh, Rick and Morty, the defension, the, the, the yeah, I'm, you know what, I'm calling them that, the defension demenders. <laughs> it can't be stopped. Can't be so, pronounced, can't be yeah, stopped. Yeah, Rick Sanchez here, 302 yards, That's, you know, a great day there, Morty, three catches for a buck 26. Yeah. Um, you know, Ken Masters, respectable day, uh, 333 total yards, and I think all three touchdowns for the, for the fighters, so you would be correct. Um, you know, a great day for Masters, uh, Magus looked pretty good throwing the ball, but... 
You just couldn't pick up a couple of key first downs there to keep the chains moving. Yeah, even when the <laughs> even when they're open, uh, they didn't give a lot of breakaway plays away. Yeah, a couple sacks there. Darth Vader, I still blame him. It's the Vader curse of Baylor. We'll see you next.